And hello, and thank you. Uh, my name is Jared Overson, and I'd like to take this opportunity to make you slightly uncomfortable, to get you to desire discomfort, and to get you to automate discomfort in order to give everyone else the opportunity to be just as uncomfortable as we are right now. Uh, it's hard to desire discomfort. It's unintuitive. It's bad UX. Um, it is, uh, the comfort zone is a thing. It's an awesome thing to find yourself in. It's an dangerous thing because if you jump in too early and you stay too long, you can wake up after five years wondering where the hell your life has gone. You got the same job, you have the same relationship, you have no relationship, you have the same friends or you have no friends, you have a bigger waistline, you have an empty checking account, you have no savings, you have a drinking problem or a drug addiction. You might not even be doing too poorly, but you're not going to be where you want to be the next five years. Change is hard. Desire is easy. I want to be healthy. I want to exercise more. Willpower sucks. I don't recommend relying on it whatsoever, especially as a business. You don't want your consumers to rely on willpower. <clears throat> willpower is emotional, it's unstable, it's unpredictable. Don't let your ego convince you that you have your best intentions in mind. For better or for worse, humanity has progressed past the point where your natural instinct is fit to take you. You have plenty of tools right now that can help streamline your life, uh, making willpower less important. You got dishwashers, washing machines, vacuums, even toilets, trash compactors. Um, these are all old hat though. They're easy to understand. You have a problem, you make it easier or more satisfying. I want you to think about the tools that, are, that make your life a little bit harder, that, that push you just slightly outside of your comfort zone in order to encourage behavior change. For developers, we've got a slew of tools like that. Uh, we've got linters, checkers, reporters, static analysis, even unit tests, the ones that you design. Um, those go far in encouraging behavior change and preventing bad behavior, but without some level of imposition, they are just introspection and they lose value outside of the point where they're no longer in front of your eyes. They are certainly valuable, but they are not enforcing change. You need to force certain behavior and you need to force thresholds in order to, uh, to really force change. Um, for developers, we got pre-commit hooks. You don't like tabs, you prevent people from checking in with tabs. Uh, but it's easy to regulate technology with technology. It's notoriously difficult to regulate the physical world with technology. For that, we rely on other people, physical trainers, health, uh, health coaches, nurses, peers, parents. <clears throat> The physical world requires elaborate sensors to, uh, to regulate. You need speakers, uh, cameras, microphones. The technology needs to be uh, small or it needs to be everywhere. Uh, and above all, it needs to be cheap, uh, which is really convenient because the future snuck up on us pretty quickly. Uh, it snuck up on us so quickly that I don't even need to ask. I am 100% sure that the vast majority, if not every single one of you right now, has a device on them that is fluent in open APIs, uh, is open for development, is small, is battery powered, uh, has an accelerometer, a gyroscope, light sensor, proximity sensor, uh, speakers, multiple cameras, microphones, a touch screen, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever else. And these are just our phones. Um, we've got uh, con game consoles with 3D recognition, motion detection. Uh, we've got uh, wireless scales, Fitbits, even what amounts to EEGs and kids' toys. Don't feel confined with these tools to automate frustration away. Consider automating minute amounts of frustration in order to encourage behavior change, in order to allow people to be who, the people, who they wish they were. <coughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't want to turn my, uh, power my blinds with my cell phone. I want my pantry to lock itself if I weigh over 180 pounds because I'm not a responsible man with cookies. <laughs> I want my cell phone and uh, my other friend's cell phones to lock themselves if we check in together at Foursquare. I'll my Xbox Connect to scan my room and not let me watch Arrested Development on Netflix if it does not sense my room is 70% clean. <laughs> there is money in behavior change. There is money in making people better people. Uh, these are contrived ideas for a five minute talk, but they could be apps, they could be bi uh, businesses, subscriptions, whatever. Don't buy into me, buy into change. Buy into being more awesome. Buy into tooling awesome, or buy into being an awesome tool. I don't care. Um, once you found out what makes you awesome, automate it and then sell it or give it away. Just make it accessible to me. Um, don't think about how you can do things better, think about how you can make people better. And thank you.